All right, so we're gonna start removing the rotor. We have to remove the brushes. Remove that on the side. And we start removing the cover. Hey, it's Jerry from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're still working on a Honda generator and we are going to rip the fucking stator out only because I think that it's shot. We got high resistance in the main winding, so let's take it out and inspect it and see how much it's going to cost. Rewind the bitch. There's also two 14 mil bolts to hold down the generator part right on the side of the frame. You can either remove the base here, but I'm just going to remove the ones underneath the generator. I decided to use a puller on this, and that end piece is coming off of the freaking puller. There we go. So once you get that end piece off, you can grab the stator part and just start pulling her back. So I got the rotor off too. I had to make up a jig. I had to put a bolt in there and then use an end and use a slide hammer to pull it out because it's got a tapered shaft as well. As you can see back there, it's what it sits on. All right, so I got the generator apart here. This is your rotor. And this is your slip rings here when your exciter windings inside here when the engine's running your exciter windings will power up and then it'll give you voltage to your slip rings here and your slip rings will power up the magnet here and then you'll start generating power now however there was an epoxy coating on the rotor and that's all worn off the rotor still tests good i'm gonna see how much it's gonna cost to um get the epoxy coating redone however the stator the only thing wrong with the stator, I don't know if they're going to be able to repair it or if they're going to have to rewind the whole thing, is that there's a burn hole right there. That's the only thing I can think of. So we're going to have to see how that's going to go because resistance is kind of high. And then see from there, see what happens. So I did an ohms test from the AC on here from that terminal right there to before the break and I'm at 13 ohms and then after the break it's 0.7 ohms still a bit high but that break makes a huge difference well that's kind of a fucking piss off I spent 300 bucks in a voltage regulator when it turns out the uh, stator's got a short in it as you've seen in that freaking video and I, have to, and I have to get the epoxy recovered on the rotor so I'm gonna see how much that costs Other than that, there could be some other things too. Who knows what the fuck's going on with this thing. <sighs> we'll figure it out though. The thing is, how much is it going to cost? I can get a new stator for like 700 and some bucks and then, get the, um, and then get the rotor recovered with epoxy. We'll go from there. But not good though. Not fucking good. Nothing like dropping three bills on something when it turns out to be the fucking stator. It's got a fried hole in it and the rotor needs to be recovered with epoxy. Fuck me.